Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 It's finally spring and it's ready to get these two sports cars out of hibernation. Man, it was a long and cold winter this year, so, so excited to get these out finally. And I actually would have gotten them out sooner, but for the last two weeks I've had press cars. Yes, back-to-back -back press cars, a Toyota and a Mazda. I hope you guys watched those and enjoyed them. And I really appreciate if you go ahead and, and watch them and like them because you know I spent a lot of time on them and it really makes a difference to the manufacturers if it gets views and gets watch time and such. So appreciate it if you could do that so I can continue to bring fun and cool press cars for you and you know I get to do a more in-depth review when I do get those press cars. So please uh, help me out there but anyway let's get out my fun cars and uh, we'll and we'll unwrap them we'll uh, start them up and I'll get them out for you guys and see how they run all right let's start with the 2020 Supra it's hooked up to a battery tender but not covered so pretty easy just gonna unhook that and the battery of course is stored in the rear hatch underneath the floor but um, all I'm gonna do is disconnect the positive terminal that's under the hood and there's a ground as well over here and that's it now we're gonna close up the hood and start it up you can't check the oil or anything there's no dipstick it's all electronic but everything should be okay. Unfortunately, the Supra doesn't give much of a bark on a cold start. It actually has to be warm in, in order to do that nice pop when you first start it up. And I did start it up in sport mode. And you'll probably notice only the exhaust, the exhaust only came out of one tip. That's normal again when it's cold, it's strange. Uh, when it warms up, it'll open up that other side of the exhaust. But anyway, no issues, start up fine. And no warning lights or anything, so we'll let it warm up a little bit. Now I do have a car cover for the Corvette, so let me do a quick unwrapping. I'm not sure if one way is better than the other. There is some dust on the Supra from sitting, but it's also a possibility you can scratch a car with the car cover. This is a nice quality one though, so it should be okay. Tell me in the comments below if you guys use a car cover when you store your vehicle. Now the Corvette also has a battery tender and the Corvette one hooks up in the hatch because the battery is under the load floor in the hatch as well. And it's just a cigarette lighter connector, which is pretty cool. Now, unfortunately you can't check the oil on the Corvette either when it's cold because it's a dry sump oiling system and the engine has to be on and warm for the tank to fill up and you can accurately uh, get a level reading. So we're just gonna do it once over here. I don't see any issues and we'll start up pull it out
Yeah, a little bit more of a bark with the Corvette on the cold startup. But uh, yeah, I wanted to give you an update also on the Jeep. I did get the oil cooler fixed, repaired under warranty, which was awesome. So that's good to go. And uh, yeah, now I just gotta start driving these two. I don't know which one to take out first. I still love them both. And um, yeah, hoping to have a great season. Definitely want to do some more owner car reviews and car swaps this year. So if you have a cool vehicle you want to car swap with, let me know in the comments below or on Instagram or Facebook. You can always message me. I try to reply to all the messages. So, all right, guys, tell me if you guys got your sports car out for the season yet. Ah, oh, it's a good feeling. Uh, it's one thing about living in the north. Spring comes once a year and it's such a great feeling. So it makes the heart grow fonder when it sits all winter. But all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out the next and all the great car reviews and other car content on all of these vehicles. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.